show. We are running a little behind schedule. Nevertheless, we are here. <laughs> Welcome to Smooth Your Show, where size does matter. I'm your host, Dana Kelly. And I am Shekinah Flowers. Thank you so much for watching tonight. And for being patient with us. Because this show is live, we have a lot of different things going on behind the scenes. And we also want to make sure that we had time to get some things together. Because we have some very important clips we want to share with you today. So, bear with us. Nevertheless. Um, I say that a lot now. Think nevertheless, about it. yes, that's yeah. that's your leeway into what's going to come up next. 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 That's cool, though. That's okay. nevertheless. It sounds very professional. So, yeah. nevertheless, we're going to talk about <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about what we did this weekend, and there were two events we went to this weekend. We had mm -hmm. a very busy weekend, very, very. Right. Uh, but the first event was Curls Gone Wild. Yes, Curls Gone Wild was held at the Dream Building, and um, I want to say that's North Philadelphia. Yes. Um, it was a, a great event. It was an event for natural hair, um, natural hair stylists, natural hair people. They had vendors there. They had jewelry and um, great giveaways. Great giveaways. Dana won a giveaway. Of I course, that's give why away. the giveaways were great because Dana won. So I like giveaways. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she does. She was so excited. I'm gonna get. We'll have a clip of that. That's what we need. Yep. Don't we don't <laughs> have that. Don't expect that clip. She's lying to you, unfortunately. <laughs> but we do have the picture of you with all your um, goodies. What, what was that company that you um, won the? Um, the company. Yeah. That I was one of the vendors there. They mm -hmm. were raffling away event. Uh, events raffling. Away Away, gift baskets, stuff like that. And I won hair products from Kush Hair Products. Kush Hair Products. And we had a discussion <laughs> before the show aired, <laughs> before we were on now, about the name of the hairline. And it stands for something, but unfortunately, it's an acronym. But I don't remember what it stands for, but either way, it's Kush Hair Products. And so it's not to be mistaken for something else besides hair products. It's hair products. Dana is hair products. Yeah. But again, so like I said the event was really cool. Oh we my did goodness, have it um, was it and it was super crowded. I didn't expect that turnout because we actually didn't go together. I went with my salon, Rasa Salon in Germantown Avenue, sixty two West Mannheim. And <laughs> Dana came in as a guest. As a guest. So we ran into each other there. Of course, you know, we had to hang out and smooch it up as we do. And um she won her gift. Yeah, but it was a I it was a lot to do. Oh you my worked goodness! All night. I, I won. Ear I got earrings too. I didn't win oh, earrings. I got oh, earrings. Well, no. Yes, yeah, she did get earrings, courtesy of. Yep. <laughs> I'll wear them. <laughs> I'll make sure. Maybe next next week I'll wear them. They're very again from from the hair salon. What's the name? Salon? Rasa Salon. They have a boutique section. Yes, we do have a boutique. Great stuff there. Um, stop past and see us. And mm -hmm. I'm a stylist there, so. Come on over. 62 West Mannheim, Germantown. You want to get the number? That's why you throwing it out there. 215-668-6296. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> like I said, uh, if by chance you happen to miss it, because a lot of people there, it was packed, it was crowded. They have a website or a Facebook link, Curls Gone Wild. Curls Gone Wild. So, on Facebook, if you can, check that out. You know, for those who are interested in natural hair products, into natural styles, natural... They had, like... I don't want to say natural, but like earth-like clothes and mm, stuff like that. They had that. earth-like clothing. They had organic clothing. They had, um, we personally had our oils that are made at our salon. We, um, mm. There was homemade, there was handmade jewelry. There was a young lady there that was painting jewelry as you requested. On she was spot. amazing. And I wish I could remember her name. I'm going to find out who it was and say it before the show's over. But, um... She was amazing. I shout out to her. Right, but right. even if not, check if you're on Facebook. Check right. Curls Gone Wild because she probably is attached to that. Yes. So, but again, like, she was literally making earrings on the spot. Different. I mean, yeah, paint. She had different shapes, everything. So you yeah. can say, you know, I want this color with this design and this shape, and she did it. They were hot. Yeah, they so, were very nice. Yeah. So that was a nice event. Very nice. And then um, that was Saturday. That was Saturday. That was. No? Yeah, that was Saturday. Was it Saturday? It was this weekend. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then. we're going to focus. <laughs> we believe it was Saturday. So then on <laughs> Sunday, you know, because right now we're still doing 17 Days of Fashion. 17 Days of Fashion. So on Sunday evening was at, oh, well, there was two events going on Sunday. Now, one had nothing to do with 17 Days of Fashion, but had to do with smooches. Right. <laughs> we had the um, smooches model 
call here. Is that the casting what call. The casting call. Yes. Yeah, so, that but, was Sunday. <laughs> right. So we had a casting call here. So for those uh, women who were interested in being a smooches woman, being able to be, it's an eight-week course, being able to be trained, um, learning about fashion, makeup, skill, how to promote yourself in the right way. It's a very um, intense class. It's like exercise, too. Like, you will leave sore but again the focus is to make sure that you have the skills needed if you want to pursue this on further right. and it's good for confidence builder you know confidence that, building yeah, and everything confidence it and it's like it's for. a sisterhood which i think is the reason why it's such a big deal for us which is why actually it's why we had the smooches show because it originated from you know the that's classes right. mm-hmm. that's yeah right. mm-hmm. so i know we have another casting call coming up and i want to say it's I'm not sure of the exact lie. date. We'll get the date. We will get the date we'll for you before the show is over because they are having another casting call coming up. Right. Um, before and the we show have a start. lot of activities going on in the next few months also with Smooches. So definitely stay tuned. Right. So that was one event going on on Sunday. And now mm-hmm. the other event going on was a 17 Days of Fashion <laughs> event, Runway Remix. Runway now Remix. that was serious. That was a huge show. It was. Um, and it was... Um, um, right in the line of the smooches show that we had ourselves. Um, it was a fashion show. It had p- mega producers. We met some amazing people, um, stylists, mm-hmm. models. Yeah. I mean, just Well, even, nice. even the concept behind the name, Runway Remix, it was the focus. It was a collision of music mm-hmm. and modeling and fashion. And so, like, there was a point where there was entertainment. You know, we got to hear some great artists, and we're going to we have a clip with one of them tonight that we're going to show later on and then again the fashion aspect so we have um some of the designers that were there and this event was it was at the view at the view in, in, yes, North, Philly, in North Philly on Broad Street mm-hmm. and it was they had vendors there I know I saw Tracy Lynn I saw a lot of jewelry places a lot of natural um I think yeah, they had, had like Chica Freak there mm-hmm. and she makes the uh shea butter the um Thank you. the different scents of shea butter um, we had jewelry. They had um, hats. Hats. There was a hat guy there. His name is. Nope. I want to say Doug Re- Re- Race Repass. Rest mm-hmm. Pass. Yeah. <laughs> not Repass. I want you to just Fuck not. It back. <laughs> Douglas. It's Douglas Rest Pass. Mm-mm. Douglas, if you're watching this show. <laughs> I will correct myself if I am wrong, but I'm quite sure it is him. We'll look it up on break and make sure you are who you, you know, we say you are. I'm but your make- hats were nice, Douglas. Yeah, he has an event coming up too. He's bar- part of the 17 Days of Fashion, so he oh, was there cool. as well. I'm not making this up, you know, as I go along. I'm trying to tell you. This, I don't know. This is serious. You, you can make some stuff up sometimes. I can, but this is not that time. So yeah, right. we're gonna go back to <laughs> the runway remix event. This was, I think, this was the. I want to say, and I could be wrong, but the first event where they had four different producers combined together to mm-hmm. pull off one event. Yeah. And so it was crazy. So it was three model management companies along with one fashion marketing and development company. Right. And they were all serious in their own right. Like, they all were amazing. They all brought different aspects to the show. They did. They each brought different aspects, but in, in a, and they all worked together, though. It, it seemed like they were like all part of a like the same system. You would think that they all came together and that it was all you know put right. together at the same. But it was they. It was a very good show. Very right. good show. They put on a good show, um, and they had um, the new girl that came out. Uh, what's the her artist? Name? The new artist, Bria Marie. Bria Marie. She was there. You guys her have to look manager out for her. She was is Carvin Hagen. Right. So we have a clip with him that will. Share a little later, but we have that as well. But yeah, we she do. was yeah, she was adorable. She she, she has this song. Princess. Look her up, Bria. Yeah, the Fresh Princess. Fresh princess. <laughs> right. Look her up. Her name was Bria Marie. Mm-hmm. She has this song called. She did a video for recently called French French, French fries, fries and, and apple pies. Apple pie, yeah. It's so catchy. <laughs> I mean, Very she catchy. did other songs besides for that. I feel like we're talking about it beforehand, and we're right. not gonna show the clip right now. So maybe we'll talk about it a little yeah, we'll more talk later. About it later. The clip talks about her too. But yeah. either this way, is just some of the things that will be um you'll be seeing today on the right. show we'll be discussing so, today you know on the what show. we could do because th- we had we had so much footage of the event like it was very hard to decipher what 
clips we were able to show, which ones we were not able to show, also because of it was, I mean, so much going on. Because again, they was like they had like live band. The band was amazing. The band was. They they really was. It was really good. So they were amazing. So it was a lot of like, unfortunately, noise in the background. So some mm-hmm. of the clips did not come out as well as we had liked. Nevertheless, ha, huh, my word. There you go. We do have some good ones, but so for anyone who feels like they're a little slighted, we apologize. Because we did a lot, spent a lot of time interviewing a lot of people, we you did. know, who had great things to say. So we'll talk about some of those things even now. Let's actually talk about two of the producers that we don't have a clip on for the moment. Um, Sherwin. Sherwin Raven. Yes. Mm-hmm. He he is the one from the, the F- fashion FMD. FMD. Fashion Marketing and Development mm-hmm. Company. He's the one who... Um, his brand development is for designers and fashion show productions. And he actually... Sang. Open up the show with singing. Yeah, he did yes. sing. That was not part of, I think, the plan. Like, I mean, you know, sometimes with events, things happen. I had no idea. He can blaze. Like, he was good. Oh, I'm, I turned, I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah, he did very well. Right. But he's one who he's worked with, um, I think, Philly Fashion Week. He was involved also in last year, 17 Days of Fashion, mm-hmm. as well as, um, what did he doing? I saw him. Philly Fashion Week. Okay, he's a part of that as well. So he's uh, he's been played a major part in a lot of different fashion shows and productions that has right. taken place within Philly and the surrounding areas. Okay, but nevertheless, while we're here, uh, we can show the clip about Anthony Henderson. Oh, we he have the is clip with Anthony. Yes, I mean we we'll like to start Anderson. off with him if we can yes, because he course. is again he he's is the, the reason we're here. Yeah, seventeen you know, days of fashion. He's a celebrity wardrobe stylist. Mm-hmm. He is one of the founder C- CEO he is the um, executive, executive director yes executive director, executive director of 17, for 17 days, of days of fashion yeah, yeah and he's he was very sharp I'll talk about that in the clip as well but you know we want to make sure that um so what we'll do is we want to show that clip we'll take a quick little break though and then we'll show that clip okay all right okay we'll see you in a few minutes we'll be back four seconds <laughs> <laughs> 